last home game of the season. And it is also the penultimate weekend of the Premier League season. Two games to go. It's Tottenham versus Burnley. Yes, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, welcome to the match day preview. Today, it is Tottenham versus Burnley. And it is the final home game of the season. And yeah, it's been an incredible ride. And obviously, it's the final home game of the season. Obviously, we, we play Burnley today before we take on Norwich in the final game of the 21-22 season. It's a big game for us today. We need to pick up the three points. So yeah, smash a like, subscribe, and let's get into this match day preview. Alright then, so let's have a look at the form coming into today's game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So let's start with our visitors, which are Burnley. So Burnley have a loss, win, 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 draw and a loss. Um, obviously they got three wins, one draw and two losses. Burnley, their last game being a 3-1 loss against Aston Villa. Um, for Tottenham, we have a win, win, draw, win, draw, loss, win. We've only lost one game in our last six games. We've got two draws and, off, and three wins. Obviously, our last game was a 3-0 win in the North London derby. And that was just an absolutely brilliant result for us. And, you know, if we do win today... We go two points above Arsenal before they play tomorrow against Newcastle. Um, so, yeah, that's the form coming into the game. All right, then, so what is my score prediction for today's game at home to Burnley in the final home game of the season? Now, obviously, Conte's command said that he wants to see the same atmosphere like it was on Thursday night. The atmosphere on Thursday was quite incredible. And I know it's only Burnley, but, you know... We, I really want to see that same atmosphere. And like I said, I know it is Burnley, but if we do that atmosphere and we see the same performance as Thursday, we will win the game and you never know, potentially finish fourth and play in the Champions League next season. But, but to be honest, uh, Burnley, you know, they need the points as well. You know, they're down there in the relegation battle with Leeds and Everton. And to be honest, Leeds and Everton fans could... Um, could be doing no Leeds and Everton fans probably want us to win um to stop Burnley from picking up points um to be honest I think we will win I think a point will be the same team that played on Thursday so I'm going to say Tottenham 3 Burnley nil 3 nil all right then let's have a look at the players to look out for and let's have a look at Burnley after their 3-1 defeat against Villa um so um, first player, I'm going to say Dwight McNeil. Obviously, 22 years old. He played the full 90 minutes in the loss at home to Aston Villa. And uh, looking at his stats, he, they were, his stats looked okay. So they were, they were, they looked to be okay. I think another player, I mean, obviously, scored Burnley's only goal, Maxwell Cornet. Um, you know, he's a very good player. You know, obviously, leaving a team in France. I can't remember what team it was. To join Burnley and I think you know he's done well with Burnley so far maybe if they do go down will he stay I don't know but I think those are the players to look out for um and yeah for any Burnley fans watching um I think I think to be honest there is pretty much a lot of players to keep an eye out for I think Larice, Sanchez, Dyer, Davis, Emerson, Benton Cole, Hoybier, Sessegnon, Son and Kane I think Ten of the eleven players, I think, apart from Kulisevsky, I don't think he really had a great game. But the other ten players were absolutely incredible. I could say like the whole team if I wanted to, but apart from Kulisevsky. But if I had to pick one player in particular, it's got to be Harry Kane. Work ethic was absolutely incredible, and hopefully, we see that today against Burnley. And to be honest, the way we played the other night, I just really want to see it today. And then we could just get the job done. And hopefully Newcastle do us a favour tomorrow against Arsenal. Um, so, yeah. All right, then. So, this is my predictive lineup to take on Burnley today. So, in goal, Hugo Lloris, obviously, um, had a very good performance um, in the game against Arsenal. So, I think I'll start in goal. Same back three of Sanchez, Dyer, and Davis. I think them three were very good. And I've, Davison Sanchez, I think big up to him, you know, with Romero being injured. He really had a massive job and he did very well. So, obviously, so yeah, well done, Sanchez. And hopefully he has a good game today. 
I think four midfield of Emerson, Hoiberg, Benson Coe and Sessignon. Um Emerson had a good game, Hoiberg had a good game, Benson had a good game, and so did Sess against Arsenal, so hopefully them four do very well. Um two cams of Kulusevsky and Son. I think Kulusevsky was the only player that didn't really try, um, in my opinion. So hopefully he does well today and improves on his performance after Thursday's win. Um, Son alongside him, brilliant performance. And up front, Harold Edward Kane. Harry Kane, absolute man. Just a, he, was an, he was an absolute machine on Thursday. He was incredible. Um, he actually, probably, in my opinion, the best performance I've seen from Harry Kane this season. Um, just a very good performance from Harry Kane. Um, so I think he... I think he will start. Well, he will start anyway. And um, I think uh, hopefully we get the same performance from him. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, so my predictive lineup is Larice, Sanchez, Dyer, Davis, Emerson, Hoiberg, Benton Kurt, Setignon, Kulusevsky, Son, and Kane. Um, there, well, team news should be out now to be fair. It's 11 o'clock. So I'll start the match, the vlog in a minute. Um, be a kick off from 12. Be anywhere. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Come on!